since it's Throwback Thursday, we decided to look back at one of the very first projects she did on CityLine. Hey Sharon, what can you tell us about this project? Well, it was 19 years ago when I did that. It was one of my first upcycling projects. So picked some things out of probably the trash and uh, painted it up, changed up the back and created a really fun thing. Lots more color in 2001 and patterned than what we would probably do today. But, you know, it's nostalgic. <laughs> totally nostalgic. Okay, so this is what the chair looked like <laughs> before. Very simple, uh, very cool project. Today you're gonna show us how to give it a 2020 update. Before we get started though, you're gonna need to know what you're gonna need for this project. So you need a scraper, 80 grit sandpaper, degreasing cleaner, fresh start all purpose primer, Aura exterior paint, color Stratton Blue, HC142, and Aura exterior paint, color paper mache, AF25. All right, so this chair was actually over 50 years old. It's a friend of mine, her grandmother, and she just has such fond memories of it. So I was kind of looking for some projects to do for the spring, so she gave it to me. It was in pretty rough shape, as you saw, so I spent 80, you know, I always say 80% of the time is the prep. This was absolutely the case. I was, I had the scraper out, the sander, but you know what's great about the older, um, older furniture is that it's, it's hardwood. So it was in, once I got it all nice and clean, it's still in really, really good shape structurally. So I primed it with Fresh Start Primer after I, you know, sanded it down. You want to get a lot of it off so that you're not putting too many extra layers on. And then I covered the entire thing with one coat of paper mache. So then I thought it would be kind of fun to do an ombre finish. So let me just show you a little bit of it on the back. I've papered off the area that I've already painted because you know how messy I am. I'm going to take Stratton Blue and I'm going to put it just here so we can see it. So I've done a little bit of it at the top, but what you want to do with an ombre is you're going to work with at least two colors and you've got to work wet into wet. So I've got the blue. Let's get a little bit of the paper mache, the white. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Oops. It's okay. You can be a little bit messy. And then you want to work your way up and down until the two colors start blending. So let's kind of see how I can do that. And you know, it's a little bit easier when you're not doing it on live TV and you can mess around with it a bit. So I'll play around with it a little bit throughout the show and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. But you can already see there how it starts to blend. And then have a third brush just in case if you want to clean it up. But again, it's only paint so you can always go back over it after and just touch it up. We're going to see the finished chair a little bit later in the show. Sharon, the other project you have is how to refinish a teak table. Let's look at the before shot right now. Here's what you'll need to DIY this project. 80 grit sandpaper, Arbor Coat translucent stain, a stain brush, and a rag. Okay, what do we do next, Sharon? All right, so the sanding was the hardest part. It's actually a really easy project, but teak is such a beautiful, durable um, wood that it resists rot and all that stuff. So you really don't need to do a lot of maintenance, but to get rid of that gray, I used a heavy duty sander with an 80 grit paper, but honestly, it's just because I have it. You could really just use um, any 80 grit sandpaper with a pad and, and take it off. So you can see here, Tracy, how I sanded this part of it, but I wanted to remove of it and get it down to that beautiful teak color, that golden teak color that it was when I started. So I like the translucent stain because it shows the beautiful grain in a wood-like teak. And again, if I do two coats of it, which I will wait four hours in between, it'll be super durable, but you will have to maintain teak every couple of years. I'm going to have to sand the rest of it after, so I don't want to do too much of this now because it's going to be um, I don't want the sanding dust to get in it, but just look at how beautiful that color is and how it really enhances the grain. So that's what we're going to do to bring it back to its original glory. Keep the rag just in case you make a mess. <laughs> that's pretty much all you need it for. Or if you put too much on, you want to just wipe it off so you don't put too much grain. You want to push it into the grain. Okay, thank you, Sharon. I bet these are going to look, both of them, fantastic when you're finished with them, and we're going to see a little bit later in the show. Thanks for that. Right. Case in point, this patio chair and table that you've redone during the filming of this show. Sharon, you're magic. Let's see. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Magically, it is done. 
<laughs> it was a lot of work, but you know what? These are really great weekend projects, and it's really wonderful if you have um, old furniture that you want to totally transform, like we did with the chair, the table. You know, it takes some time, but you can be creative with different colors. You can add a little bit of pattern, like I did. And she also had a cute little, my friend also had a cute little table. It wasn't vintage, but I just painted it with the Strat and blue just to tie it in and make it a little bit more fun. And then maintaining your teak. Now that is something you just have to do every year. It's not that, it doesn't take that much time, but because teak is a hard wood, it does discolor pretty quickly when it's out there in the sun. So unless you want to bring everything in over the winter, you're just going to be prepared to give it a sanding, give it a fresh coat of translucent stain. And you know, now I'm ready for the summer with my little table. <laughs> If we could all just work as quickly as you do, Sharon, like that is absolutely incredible. Thank you for that. 